Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dylan back again with another DJI Mavic Pro tutorial video. And today we are staying in the third party app known as Lychee. And I'm going to be showing you guys a quote unquote intelligent flight mode known as Focus. Now I said quote unquote when I said intelligent flight modes is because that's what the um, intelligent flight modes or the, you know, um, the specific different flight modes that you can do in the DJI Go 4 app is called. But in Lychee, I guess they're basically just flight modes. So anyways, as you can see, we are hovering here at about 164 feet high in altitude. And I'm going to show you guys what focus is all about. Up in the upper left corner, you will see the Lychee icon and FPV. We are going to tap on that. Brings down the menu. If you will go one, two, three, four, five down, you will see focus. We're going to tap on that. Now we are in focus mode. Now this is going to toggle our map mode. Now what it's wanting us to do is pick something to focus on. And this doesn't mean focus as in like, you know, camera focus as in, you know, depth of field and this is going to be in focus and that's going to be blurry. Not that kind of focus. It's more like point of interest in a, in a way. Your subject or object or what you want to be the star or what you want, you know, this video to be focused on or and all that good stuff you you guys get what i'm saying okay so right here where i'm zooming in on this is a high school gymnasium that's going to be our focus so we're just simply going to tap on it now that drops a little pink pin we need to tap on that pink pin and then we get our focus settings so the first thing is subject now our subject is going to be our point of interest which is where our pink pin was dropped if you want it to be yourself holding your remote you would click mobile device, but we're going to keep it on point of interest for our focus point. Now on subject height, this is not the altitude of your drone. Make sure you understand that. The subject height is you're guesstimating how tall your point of interest or your subject or what you're focusing on is going to be. So I'm going to say that this thing is a, I know it's probably roughly anywhere from 30 to 50 feet high, but I'm going to keep it around 26 feet it's better to undershoot than overshoot now on aircraft rotation we're going to keep that on auto on joystick reference you have some options default aircraft heading device heading ha bearing and da bearing we're just going to keep that on default as well and then we're also going to keep the joystick speed limiter on 75 percent now we're going to hit start now i'm going in the bottom right i'm going to tap on my actual feed and you can see that gym right now before I take off with the drone or do anything. It's right there uh, between that white building and also those uh, bleachers at the football stadium. So now what I'm doing is I am just on the right stick of my controller. I am just pushing straight forward and I am not going to touch the gimbal wheel. So I'm not going to tilt the gimbal up or down, not going to tilt the camera up or down. And I'm also not going to do anything on the left stick right now and so here in a minute the closer we get to it remember we define that gymnasium when we drop that pink pin we defined it as around 27 feet high i think it was 20 something feet so what you're going to notice is is as we get closer the camera the gimbal is going to pan down to keep that in center frame because again we define this this gymnasium back here not the white building but the one a little further back, it's a basketball gymnasium, the one with the white bus uh, parked out in front. We define that as our point of interest and the thing we are focusing on. I'm gonna go ahead and push record. Recording started. But anyways, you ought to see, we're just gonna fly right over the top of it. Again, I'm on the right, all I'm doing is on the right stick, I'm pushing straight forward, which is taking us forward. Now here pretty quickly, you ought to see the camera start tilting down it's because the 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 whole goal and the point of this is it's going to keep whatever we defined as our point of interest in center frame and make it easy to kind of track that so as you can tell we're still we're only going at eight miles per hour now as you can see the closer we're getting to it look what's happening the camera the gimbal is starting to tilt down which is very very cool stuff 
I'm not tilting the gimbal wheel at all. It's doing that on its own. Now I've let go of the controls. Now on the right stick, I'm going to push straight right. Now notice as I go right, the drone's going to automatically rotate and it's going to keep our point of interest in center frame and keep it as the focus. So I think you guys are kind of understanding and getting the point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push left on my right stick and I'm going to push up on my left stick which will take me up an altitude and as I go up the camera automatically the gimbal is going to tilt down to keep that in center frame. So basically the whole deal is, is it just, it makes it an easy way for you to go get creative shots um, without having to worry about tilting the gimbal or panning it around. So see, we are clear up here at 375 feet. Now we're gonna max out in our allowable altitude. So anyways, guys, that is about it for the Recording focus stop. mode using the Lychee app. If you enjoyed this video, as always, please be sure to smash that thumbs up button and as always, please be sure to subscribe as I will have more DJI Mavic Pro tutorial videos upcoming in the future. Everybody have a great day. This has been Dylan. I enjoyed it.